So today we are going to talk about primarily about how to define AI. Okay. This has been a very controversial topic in last two years since the European Union has started to you know no in 21 so almost three years now. So they want to regulate AI they want to have a law that regulates AI. So the moment you want to have a law you need to fix on some things definitions in particular. Okay. So this AI act has been subject of very much criticism and everything else because you cannot really define AI and I also disagree with what they write there, but I want you guys to uh, help me with this. There are so many jurisdictions in this world who are trying to regulate AI. The primary the, the uh, major effort it is going here. EU AI Act. So, they have right now uh, last dated 26 January, they have uh, 272 page long document. <laughs> so, they have, so this is the major, uh, so this is the major, you know, step in this particular uh, direction. EU is trying to uh, make an act. In fact, they have already. Other than that, on 31st of October, United State United States President he also um, had some executive order on safe, secure, trustworthy development and use of AI. China is already doing it. So, India is not mentioned here. But in India, what we are saying is uh, two guidelines have been issued, small ones that you cannot make deep fakes. So, from what I know from whatever my, my knowledge goes as far as AI is concerned Indian regulation just has one guideline it is not even a law that you cannot make deep fakes that is it. Okay. But these are very comprehensive we will cover this thing in the whole course. Hmm. Now all these things you can click we will be doing it. Now, let us say we want to define AI. So, let me go to uh, the previous slide first. So, let me click on all these things if I can. Okay. So, these if you see 23rd October 2018 Belgium and so let us quickly go through this right to transparency, right to human determination, identification obligation, fairness obligation, most of this they have captured in EU AI Act. So, I am not going you know I am not reading things word by word here. Now, OECD AI principles. So, EU's AI Act basically it takes its definition of AI from this one. So, this is our uh, point of discussion today and uh, almost a similar definition is used in United States President Executive Order as well. So, whosoever is framing these laws they seem to uh, think that the definition that they have chosen is the best one. Okay. And of course, uh, so let us go through this one now and my feed has been you know full of such discussions. So, this one, this one is by, so I, so Murat Durmus. Now, eight definitions of AI, okay. So, these are the following eight well known definitions of AI. The automation of activities that we associate with human thinking activities such as decision making, problem solving, learning 1978 by Bellman. What do you understand from this? So, we are going to take up each one maybe for a couple of minutes. Activities that we associate with human thinking. So, important here is thinking activities such as decision making, problem solving, learning. So, if a machine can do this then you can call it. AI. Okay. Now, 
what is the next one in 1985 the exciting new effort to make computers think so again think here think here machines with minds in the full and literal sense 85 again the study of mental faculties through the use of computational models so again thinking is there because this word mental is here the art of creating machines that perform functions that require intelligence when performed by people 90 now so the study of how to make computers do things which at moment people are better so in 1991 they are talking about those tasks where machines could be better than human beings and this is what the general notion of ai is so okay the study of the computations that make it possible to perceive reason and act computational intelligence is the study of design of intelligent agents ai is concerned with intelligent behavior in artifacts and all so the source for this is russell and norwick so that book on artificial intelligence which is considered as a bible book on bible of artificial intelligence okay now what do you actually understand so what are the keywords from all these eight definitions one was thinking it appeared in lot of things one was intelligence and another one is if you see everywhere you see there is computer so you want computers to mimic so maybe write these things down okay what were they so thinking intelligence and computing system is there okay so we go back here and So, now pretty recent thing. So, whatever we will discuss now, we will discuss more or less in terms of EU's AI Act because that is the only text we have really comprehensive on which people have worked on. So, EU AI Act institutions debate definition of AI. Okay? And when you are talking about legal certainty, what, what do we require? See, if something is AI, then my definition should capture that it is AI. So, my definition should be something, my, defini my definition should be like that. If something is AI, my definition should capture it. And whatever is captured, my definition should be AI. That means, my definition should not capture what is not AI. Okay? So, uh, okay. so, my definition should not capture what is not AI. So, okay, it will take me one minute. Now, so this is what my definition means, let us say. Now, what am I saying? Let us say this is what I believe AI is. Okay? Now, what should my definition do? It should capture only AI. So, it should not be something like this. So, my definition cannot be this because it captures more than what we understand AI is. At the same time, it cannot be this as well. So, the thing is that we should be precise in capturing the definition of AI because otherwise what will happen? You will end up regulating those things which are not AI using this act. On the other hand, you can also have things which are AI, but you are not regulating because it does not fall into the definition. So, the definition turns out to be the most crucial and important thing of it. If a lawyer, so let us say you are a lawyer and you are fighting it for whatever company, let us say Google, Facebook, whatever, right? The charges are that your AI is doing some harm. What is the first loophole you will try to find? Prove that it is not AI and you are done. Right? So, this particular definition that we are going to talk about, 
this has to be reason not reasonably it has to be as good as you can think of so eu ai act is currently still in the negotiation phase or trilog so this this phase has now passed they have actually um, approved the text if passed it will have a significant impact on what is the mdi sector manufacturing automation i think eu is encouraging european companies to become more active in ai space but there is still considerable uncertainty as to which systems and applications will be covered by the new law this is the biggest uncertainty right now even though we have the 272 page text with us okay so here importantly we are talking about 26 september the the text was there then so importantly there is no agreement on the definition of ai itself so think of you are you want to regulate ai okay and the lawyer comes and simply says whatever you are suing me on that is not ai so then everything is gone because it is not captured by my definition so as a regulator what will be your intent you want to make the definition of ai as as broad as you can will that be the intent i am asking you so if you really want to say something use mic i mean if you want to have a long conversation okay now is that the right intent what is the intent so use mic so the uh, the intent should not be to uh, make it as broad as possible it should be accurate so that it does not captures what is not ai that you have just repeated few minutes ago okay so what you are saying is this becomes too broad exactly so our definition should not be broad our definition should not be narrow but which one is worse i mean it depends on the situation at hand right you can make equally arguments for any of this so here if your definition captures something here which is not ai you might actually end up harming that company because that company is not doing anything wrong whatever it is doing it is not even ai but you still make it fall under this regulation at the same time if this is your definition then a company which is doing actually ai right and may be harming people but is not captured i mean you cannot really sue it because or or at least you cannot prosecute in a court of law because the lawyer was able to show that it is not ai okay so the definition is the most crucial thing here everything else follows so they have been doing it since and even when this last text was out on 26 january i had seen so many posts saying that this definition is i mean i myself don't agree with the definition okay so let us go ahead now okay so i had asked you to read something it was no more than maybe one page how many of you read that how many of you opened it okay okay nice 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 enough okay so so let me first start from all these things that we have so this is the executive order okay so october 30 2023 so executive order on the safe secure and trustworthy development and use of artificial intelligence now if we we go somewhere here in the definitions we we have seen eight definitions before yes, sir. okay so what were the three main takeaways three keywords thinking intelligence and compute so computing machine was a we had emphasis on that right now let me now read this one the term artificial intelligence or ai has the meaning set forth in wherever 
and it says a machine based system that can for a given set of human defined objectives make predictions, recommendations or decisions influencing real or virtual environments. Artificial intelligence system use machine and human based inputs to perceive real and virtual environments abstracts such as perceptions into models through analysis in an automated manner and use model inference to formulate options for information or action. How many of you understand this? How many of you understood it when I asked you to read it? It was not the same document, but the language used is more or less the same. Okay. Now, let me come to, so this is that AI version, right. So, this is the definition they are using. An AI system is a machine learning, sorry, an AI system is a machine based system designed to operate with varying levels of autonomy okay? and that may exhibit adaptiveness after deployment and that for explicit or implicit objectives infers from the input it receives how to generate outputs such as predictions, content, recommendations or decisions that can influence physical or virtual environments. What is this? How many of you are able to make sense of this definition? You have most of you have done, all of you have done a course on machine learning and uh, many of you have done course on artificial intelligence too and some of you are also doing a course on large language models now. So, how many of you are able to make sense of this? Okay. So, then you agree, disagree what? So, Okay, so leave mic, I will repeat what you say. So, what is it that you agree with this definition? By the time you think, you tell me what is it that you agree with? Right. Okay. What is it that you do not agree with? All right, awesome. Hmm. No, for my, my first question is where do you agree? So, it receives input and it generates so, a third class student will tell you computer is a device that that receives input, processes it and gives you output. So, every computer program is AI, but every computer program will do this input it receives, how to generate outputs such as predictions, content, recommendations and decisions. Okay. Remove prediction, but it makes decisions. Where is the word training? <laughs> implicit or explicit objectives. So, implicit or explicit objectives. So, see whichever computer program you are writing. So, if you want to write shortest path algorithm, right, it is explicitly doing some kind of, you know, so there is an objective there, you want to find the shortest path. So, you say this is narrow? So everybody agrees this is narrow? 
and in my opinion this is as broad as you can have i have been thinking of an example which will not fall in this definition so let's say you talk about just auto sum that happens in excel so you are doing it for an so there is an objective okay so it's a machine based system with varying levels of autonomy because it is doing auto sum so varying level of autonomy is done and that may exhibit adaptiveness after deployment so the word may here tells me that this is not a necessary condition so even if i don't have it i'm okay infers from the input it receives so it received the sum how to generate outputs such as predictions content recommendations or decisions that can influence physical or virtual environment so this auto sum in excel has all these properties is that an ai i'll go two steps further i'll say i have a toaster okay i have a toaster that is basically heating breads for me i say this is ai and you have to figure out what is wrong with my argument okay so no way definition says it has to be a computing device so it can be any machine based thing mechanical whatever so my toaster is completely mechanical okay it has absolutely no computing elements whatsoever and let's say i somehow you know input so what does chat gpt do at a very high level given context it will generate word by word for you so so basically it generates the probability of next token and you keep on doing this indefinitely or until the limit of 8000 token is reached okay so this is what chat gpt is doing so if i bring in probabilities because this is what chat gpt is doing in the end how it is doing keep it aside for the time being so if i bring in probabilities which is my toaster will pop up the bread at some time so it's a machine based thing it is doing some kind of you know objective input it receives generate output that influences physical or virtual because it takes a decision to throw the bread out why is this not ai i'm serious i mean i want you to counter me on this the very is intelligence very is thinking in this definition you agreed with it 10 minutes ago <laughs> no but it will still change we still have half an hour right so what are the things that are missing in this so let's start let's start dissecting word by word now ai system so it's a definition is a machine based system what i personally think is computing is missing from here so you have to make it more precise by saying it has to be a computing system okay now next designed to operate with varying levels of autonomy so in recital 6 they actually explain what does it mean so we'll go there and that may exhibit adaptiveness after deployment so that means what does it mean my model may change so once you deploy it can change later as well because weights will change after training right but this is not a necessary requirement it says may exhibit adaptiveness so if i give you a fixed ai with fixed weights that are not changing while you are using it that is still ai and which is fine right for explicit or implicit objectives we all know because we train machine learning algorithms on some some cost function so they are there infers from the input it receives how to generate outputs such as predictions content recommendations or decisions that can influence physical or virtual environments okay now let me take you to the recital okay 
so the notion of ai systems in this regulation should be clearly defined okay and closely aligned with the work of international organizations working on artificial intelligence to ensure legal certainty facilitate international convergence and wide acceptance while providing the flexibility to accommodate the rapid technological developments in this field okay okay i did not have this one because i had segregated everything so just a second so i have this statement by statement the notion of ai system in this regulation should be clearly defined and closely aligned with the work of international organizations working on artificial intelligence to ensure legal certainty facilitate international convergence and wide acceptance while providing the flexibility to accommodate the rapid technological developments in this field which objectives are being achieved by this definition legal certainty is achieved how are you achieving legal certainty i mean this thing that we were talking about is this definition fulfilling this no so i i see it opposite of legal certainty okay facilitate international convergence now since we see us and eu converging on same kind of definition so maybe some kind of international convergence but i don't see it more than that wide acceptance i have seen so many posts from so many people not accepting this definition while providing the flexibility to accommodate the rapid technological developments in this field i think what they have ended up overdoing is to do this last thing they want to capture everything that could be ai right and bypassing something that they shouldn't have so this is the so every bullet is next sentence moreover it should be based on key characteristics of artificial intelligence systems that distinguish it from simpler traditional software systems or programming approaches so i am saying i mean i couldn't construct a full proof example but some lawyer some day will come and show that uh, you know a toaster is ai because i don't see word computing anywhere neither in the definition nor in the recital here okay distinguish it from simpler traditional software so at least in this case they are talking about software right so from this definition not in the main definition itself but here it, it kind of hints that we are talking about a software and not a not a mechanical machine right so from here you get some information okay it has to be a computing machine or programming approaches and should not cover systems that are based on rules defined solely by natural persons to automatically execute execute operation so if everything is being done by a human being then that is not ai okay but what execute is important here execute operations because you are going to execute instructions on a cpu so executing instructions on cpu you can't call that as ai okay we have to face it so and this is one sentence by the way no it is not no it is not so a key characteristics of ai systems is their capability to infer so i'll come back to this the term machine based refers to fact that ai systems run on machines okay this is too good to read the reference to explicit or implicit objectives underscores that ai systems can operate according to implicit so according to explicit defined objectives or to implicit objectives the objectives of the ai system may be different from the intended purpose of the ai system in a specific context any examples for this those who are doing llm they can answer so for example when you are training word to vec your objective is to learn word embeddings but you are training it on a different 
objective ok. So, they are saying you can do it for another objective and your actual objective could be something else. And for the purpose of this regulation environment should be understood as the context in which AI systems operate whereas, output generated by the AI system reflect different functions performed by AI systems and it include predictions contains recommendations and decisions. So, it is kind of trying to explain what was not there in the definition. AI systems are designed to operate with varying levels of autonomy meaning that they have some degree of independence of actions from human involvement and of capabilities to operate with or without human intervention. Right. So, the adaptiveness that an AI system could exhibit after deployment refers to self learning capabilities we have talked about this what does it mean your weights may change after deployment as well. Okay. So, AI systems can be used on a standalone basis or a component of a product irrespective of whether the system is physically integrated into the product or serve as a without being integrated therein. Right. So, coming back to coming back to this where do you think the whole burden of definition is there? Where do you think is the burden cast? There is one term that we have not discussed. Physical and virtual environment is ok, because you can. Uh, so, whatever decision you are taking it might influence just the system inside or it might also take some action. So, I am a robot, I put this from here to here, I am making, uh, I am influencing the physical environment. But if you are doing just in the software, you are influencing the virtual environment. Prediction, Adaptiveness we have talked about, I have, nobody has problem with this, because the moment you put may here, this becomes easy. Hmm? We have talked about, I mean predictions, content, recommendations, decisions, this is not at all a problem for me. Explicit or implicit objectives is also ok. So, infers, right. So, this whole burden of defining AI comes here to infers. So, we have understood now, let us go back to infers. Right. Or even I have it. So, how many machine learning courses you have done? So, everybody has done at least one and majority of done majority of you have done AI as well. Some of you are doing large language models. So, some of you are doing third course on machine learning here, machine learning and AI. How many of you have heard of this word infer in the context of AI or machine learning before? So, as a computer scientist, I do not understand the use of this word. Okay? Now, so what it means is here, a key characteristic of AI system is their capability to infer. So, let us agree and continue. This inference refers to the process of obtaining the outputs such as predictions, content, recommendations or decisions which can influence physical and virtual environments to a capability of AI systems to derive models and or algorithms from inputs data. Every algorithm takes input and gives you output processes it. So, infer is the word that should kind of bring something more that is specific to AI. The techniques that enable inference while building an AI system now they talk about include machine learning approaches that learn from data how to achieve certain objectives 
and logic and knowledge based approaches that infer from encoded knowledge of symbolic representations of tasks to be solved. The capacity of an AI system to infer goes beyond basic data processing, enable learning, reasoning or modeling. So, it goes beyond basic data processing. If you talk about R that auto something, where will it fall? Mostly basic data processing because you are not doing anything that enables learning or reasoning or modeling there. Okay? So, the burden of capturing all of AI is more or less there on this word called infer. So many of you yawning, which is fine, I mean it is okay, but let us continue. So, how many of you are okay with this definition now? I mean, see, you do not have to buy my words, you have to be critical. I hardly ask you guys to read and come to class. I think I, I have done this for the first time. So, after all this discussion, what do you think about the definition of this? So, let us say you are a computer scientist, you get a job in Europe and EU Act applies on you, your company is making a uh, AI softwares. So, you need to understand ki what you are doing whether it comes under the ambit or whether it is a high risk AI or not, we will see later what is a high risk AI. But so, you have to be in conformity with this law particularly if you are making systems that are high risk AI according to their definitions. So, as a computer scientist, what information do you get from this? Now that we have discussed it for almost half an hour. What is AI? This word infers is important here, right? Infers means so this infers was here. This inference refers to the process of obtaining the outputs such as predictions which can influence this, right. The techniques that enable this inference while building an AI system include machine learning approaches and all those approaches that we call AI, okay. Now, so now let me give you something else. So, this is the So, this is January 26, 2024 version. Okay. Now, let us talk about their April 21st, 2021 version. Yes, you were saying something. Our goal is to understand what is the definition of AI according to this act. Because if it were just an academic <coughs> thing, fine. But tomorrow you might end up writing programs that make you, you know, legally liable. So, you better understand what is AI and what is not AI. So, it is not that we will we'll see it later. It is not that it is applicable only to those who are sitting in EU. If you are writing a code that is used by a EU citizen, then that is applicable to you as well. So, this is now, so this is there if, so I will come back here. So, this was the first time they made this draft available 21st April 2021 okay. and uh, what was the page number? So, there is the recital and here we have, so no, I would like to go to the definition. So, here you have the definition.
artificial intelligence systems means the software. So, now they are mentioning in the definition itself that it has to be a software, it cannot be a now. Now, the moment you say this, my toaster example just gets ruled out there itself, right? I am not going to listen to you. But if you do not rule out it right now, then you will have to listen to me. I am a tech savvy lawyer, but my judge is not. So, such a tech, I mean, when I say I am, so anybody who is a tech savvy lawyer and let us say encounters a judge who is not, this person can end up convincing that even a toaster is a yeah. AI because the wordings do not tell me that it has to be a computing device. Somewhere in the recital, it tells me that it has to be a software and kind of thing. So, artificial AI system means software that is developed with one or more of the techniques and approaches listed in annexure 1 and can for a given set of human defined objectives generate outputs such as content, predictions, recommendations or decisions influencing the environment they interact with. So, some of the words are same. Now, let us go to annexure 1. In annexure 1 they say, so, AI techniques and approaches refer to in article 3.1 which is the definition of AI. Machine learning approaches including supervised, unsupervised, reinforcement learning use a wide variety of methods including deep learning. Logic and knowledge based approaches including knowledge representation, inductive logic, uh, knowledge bases, inference. So, this was a word here and deductive engines, reasoning and expert systems, statistical approaches, Bayesian estimation, search optimization methods and so on. So, earlier approach of the European Commission was to basically define AI like this. Okay. And then in this annexure put the list of techniques which are used for machine learning and all these things. Which one are you more comfortable with? the earlier definition, so this is the earlier definition in 2021 versus the current one. I, I personally feel this one was better, okay. but, but since these are on the drafts of you know European Commission and uh, uh, President of United States executive order. So, but somebody has to explain me why is that one better than this one from a legal certainty point of view. So, what is the problem with this definition? I mean, why do you think they might want to change it? So, the argument is this is not future proof. Tomorrow you can come up with some other kind of technique and it may not fall in AI where whereas it is AI. That earlier version I think I mean so the word the last version that we talked about the current version I think it gives me a definition that covers much more than so this is let us say real AI. I think the current version is this one it covers much more than what is AI. All right. So, your thoughts on it now, five minutes. Comparing two things. So, I think first one is relatively straightforward. It talks about software, it talks about approaches. As a computer scientist, I understand if I am doing this, 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 then I am doing AI, which I agree with. But in this definition, I do not know, I might be doing something which I do not believe is AI, but can be called AI or vice versa. Your comments on both these definitions. So, No, so my first question, okay, let me make specific questions. 
do you think this is future proof think over tell me do you think this is future proof i don't even understand this to comment on whether this is future proof or not i personally don't understand this to comment on whether this is future proof or not it it's a good try to be future proof but only future will tell me whether it is future proof or not see once you have a law and then everybody has to bind by that and when lawsuit starts happening then you actually get the definition of legal terms so i personally don't know whether this is future proof and second what do you think about legal certainty does it does this definition give you any kind of legal certainty some see you don't have to agree with my point of views because i taught here it gives some legal certainty but not complete it gives so i mean which one gives you more legal certainty the first definition or the new one to me the first one gives me more legal certainty ha huh. So, can you use mic? Sir, the earlier version was that uh, to the point that what the technique can you use and what is the AI? Maybe that was made uh, be, uh, with the help of computer scientists. But I think this uh, this one is a too bureaucratic. because they are making uh, the statement broader and broader so once they want to take down any system they can interpret in this system uh, this definition and they can take down that so this doesn't tell me the techniques or what i am using and right. that was uh, that was one to the point right so eu companies are already criticizing this i mean this act itself what they are saying is see us has no regulation as such us is the one that innovates okay so so there was a meme on my uh, feed it says us is the one that innovates china is the one who perfectly copies what us innovated and there was a separate circle saying eu regulates whatever others are innovating right so the people i mean the startups in eu they are saying you are already killing ai system in europe because you are saying you can't do this you can't do that and so and so on but on the other hand people are also saying you need regulation why because you might because this is such a powerful beast that you might end up writing applications that are actually very harmful right so there has to be some kind of regulation i think i agree with this that there has to be regulation but this kind of definition i don't think it gives me confidence so if i am a startup ceo this definition does not give me confidence the earlier one it gave me confidence that okay this is what ai is okay i mean we can keep on discussing this but we will have to stop now say that say say around mic i i want that thing so what i think that this document is made up of with the help of bureaucrats and the earlier one is made up of with the help of computer scientists see bureaucracy will always be there okay so the first version it was made by european commission so there of course whatever scientists had said it must have been there and uh, this might have changed after you know as you rightly said i don't know okay after input from bureaucrats as well but in the end the definition i think it has to come from computer scientists only right a bureaucrat will not go and so a bureaucrat might have said see you are using too much of you know techniques here so i want this thing to be technique free and this is what you get which those who actually are writing ai applications don't understand at least i am dumb enough not to understand this right so i don't understand what does it mean and what it can capture i i i particularly dislike just machine based at least put a word computing there okay okay so that is it for today